All right, guys, time to kick some ass. Even though Caps was gone, and it's gonna be too easy, why the hell would they leave dumbass Scorpion in charge? It makes no sense. I bet she's hiding, and she'll pop out, stomp on my balls. Can a body survive hitting water from that far of a drop? Probably. But can Bo swim? Tiny Bo, or else it was death. His head yet caved in when it smashes against the rock. Oof. I guess neither of those questions were relevant. I move my rook to e3. Nimma, why didn't you teleport to save me, fucking bitch? I used up all my teleports. But if it makes you feel any better, we can climb down into the canyon and loot your stuff. No, you have to leave it as punishment. Oh, come on. You have all the special equipment that I don't have. And I use my special equipment. Super laser sword attack. Like I did in the force in episode four. To kill a sentry. Oh yeah, I'm such a bad Huh, fuck you, Bo, you weak-ass archer. It's all about the paladin. How dare you say that? I've been practicing my archery skills since I popped out of my dad's vagina. And you just became a paladin a year ago. I demand a little more respect for my class, else I'm going on strike and you won't hit your diversity quota. God damn it, fine. I'm gonna climb down to the canyon and use my fucking sword to heal your bloody skull. And drag your ass up the cliff again so you can shoot arrows in people's butts. Objection! I charisma roll for you not to do that. You're the least charismatic leader in the game. Fucking Kyle has more charisma than you. But we all know his strength and intelligence is shit, so he'll get his ass chewed in battle. Meanwhile, Scorpio has even more strength than me. We need a strategy to take her down. Glamour's out of magic. It's you and me, Bo. What's the plan? Uh, I'll spatter her with sticky arrow? But you gotta climb down to the camp! First and save poor little old me. This game is stupid. Hi, hey, just because you can't understand the complexities of labyrinths and lemurs doesn't mean it's stupid. Fuck this. Why don't we play a different game? This one was expensive as shit, anyways. $30 for a book and you still have to use your imagination? Not even Harry Potter costs that much. Then allow me to tell you a story. It's about a beautiful girl. An amazing girl with all kinds of special powers like teleportation, sparkle plus, glitter spray, and bedazzle blades. <laughs> what are you, a Pokemon? Hello, everybody. I'm Space Dandy Glimmer. I hope you're enjoying this filler episode. Space Dandy Glimmer, me, seeks and destroys the evil. On her quest, searching for undiscovered first one's pack with an archer cutie and a really tall alcoholic named Alan. <laughs> hey, Glimmer, let's stop doing the thing you wanted and let's have a drink. No, are you stupid? We're in the middle of a fight. Oh no, Glimmer, they've captured me. Somebody save me before they take all my precious arrows. Gah, Glimmer activates her most powerful attack. Consecutive teleportation in plus! By teleporting repeatedly, Glimmer displaces the air, creating vacuums and shockwaves, at the same time, damaging everything! Yo, can't teleport that much! Oh no! I'm falling to my death! Will this be the end for our hero? Find out in the next episode! No! You chipped on him out! No! Or I'll have to spend another 10 hours painting him! <laughs> That was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And why'd you have to hurt Bo's toy? That was just mean. You have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Okay, let's try this again, but for real this time. I climb up, side a building, preparing to rush sentries. I teleport Bo to top of the tower. Oh my god, you guys are playing Dungeon Dice Monsters? I hear that it's a pretty fun game, but I also hear from the popular kids that only losers play it. Well, you need to find better friends. Mermisto, now is your chance to play one of the most popular games in the world. I don't have a figurine of yo yet, but I think I have a seashell bikini in my bag, which is basically your spirit animal. What took you so long? There was like no traffic today. Seaman wanted me to help him with a little project he was working on. He was trying to figure out how to break the YouTube copyright algorithm. Also, you said nothing about this loser stuff in the email, so I'm just playing you. I'll play. 
Do you wanna be Harry Otter or Selby? Looks like my third grade art project. How dare you! Oh my god, stop fighting. Yo, start it! What? No, I was just asking the strategy and you took my plan all personal. You go mad that I wanted to loot your corpse, but that's a totally normal thing you'd want to do in this game. Oh my god, that sounds like World of Whatcraft. <laughs> also, this paladin sculpture is so cool, I want to play as this guy. Ugh, now I have to get up and walk all the way back over there. What an asshole. At least I'm getting my steps in. So sorry about that. So, shall we start? Then, when she comes back, she'll see how much fun we're having and want to join. No, 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 no. I gotta make a new campaign. Unless you want to recycle the old one. I thought it was pretty boring. How about you get a new campaign ready? Meanwhile, I'll tell another awesome, awesome story. Hand over and trap to you, feline wench! Princess Glimmer, Bright Moon, how about we do an exchange? I give you a trap in exchange for Alan. Holy shit, you think that's what I'm into? Aren't you attracted to magic cats? Well, yeah, but you got the style all wrong. And trap that is made an atomic bomb, an airplane which will fly over your capital and blow you to tiny bits. The fallout will destroy the surrounding villages and Bright Moon will be annihilated. But you can see I need Alan to be safe in the fright zone before I do that. So hand him over, cat, cat scratch fever. You'll never take my bodyguard! You leave me no choice. Bring out the hair bazooka! Perfume! The summoner summons! Audrey 3! <laughs> Audrey, spit it up! It's not food! Give me blood! Give me blood! What the hell? You two weren't invited! Mista invited me. She said everybody wanted to hang out with the power princess! Hey! Stop rubbing it in my face. You're only supposed to rub cocaine in your face. Jump up your nose. It's good for you. Mamista, how could you? Now I gotta redesign the campaign all over again to accommodate for three more people. Sorry, I thought it was a party. The more the merrier. Okay, but I didn't supply enough snacks for this many people. So I hope you like being hungry. I hope your Ooh, vegetable bee. and your time bow. Cause I spent no way, you like really want to snow I I I I I like the friendship for the day. Okay, now we've finally settled on what to do. I got to be chipped and chewed up, tiny boy. Perfuma is Audrey, and Mister is Barbie. Excuse you, this is an amiibo, a highly sought after relic of the past. Don't tell me you're a Nintendo fan, girl. PlayStation has way better game. Well, it did. Until they put God of War on Steam. Wait, they made a game about me? No! God of War with Kratos! PS fan, you know what the P and the S stand for? Piece of shit. You know what? Let's just stop. This isn't working. Let's do something fun and simple like tag. Maybe... We should stop for today. Yeah, maybe we should. You're still here? Don't you have anything better to do? I'll bet you'd feel better if you ruined Catra's day. What do you say, Alan? Want to help Perfuma and I kick the crap out of Kitty Cat? I... I think I'd like that. Then we'll toast to victory!